<laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get started. Okay, I'll get you to introduce yourself first. Uh, Rob Daglow. And next you. Shannon Sukidnia. And you. And Maureen Hewitt. Hi, and uh, we're here at the climate rally in Regina right now. Uh, if you want to go first and uh, explain what's been happening and uh, what inspired you to come here. My background is with the Civic Museum of Regina, and we're an eco museum. And once I came across the Environmental Collective, I had told everybody that this is the kind of organization that we need to support. So when you talk about eco-museums, it's about how you engage community. And when you see an organization like this engaging so many different people, and especially so much youth, how can you not follow? All right, and uh, what inspired you to come? Um, so Enviro Collective has been involved since the uh, March, like the first big climate rally that we had uh, recently. Uh, so we've been helping the youth organize and uh, have been providing mentorship and support and just promoting it through our social media pages and word of mouth and just trying to get as many people out as possible because this is this issue, climate change, environmental issues, like this is why we exist. So we feel really passionately about these topics. All right. And what inspired you to come? Just to hang out with Shane. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Enviro Collective started last fall after the IPCC report. Shannon started it and I was really happy that she invited me and it, it was just something that I needed for myself. Um, because you feel a little frustrated and angry and hopeless sometimes if you just read all the stuff that I've read. And this this is a really positive chance to feel like you're doing something, no matter how big or small, to kind of help the situation that we're in. Yeah, it's, it's not a very positive outlook for the world right now. As you mentioned in, to the crowd, there's burning going on in the Amazon. Uh, I'm sure you know that a forest in uh, Canada is being deforested too. Yes. And so what are some things you think people should do uh, to minimize these problems? I think people really have to just try to be more involved. Write those emails, make those phone calls, talk to the people who are supposed to be having our best interest in the future generation's best interests at heart while they govern. And what are some things uh, besides organizing this awesome Enviro Collective that you think uh, other people can do? Well, I think one thing I heard when um, after the IPCC report came out is that one of the most effective things that folks can do on their own to try and engage with these issues is to organize with a like become involved in a larger movement. So whether that's here locally, we have Enviro Collective, and now we have this collective voice, um, and everyone's a part of Enviro Collective. Like there, you come to the meeting join our initiatives and you're you're all involved and we we need all the support we can get and we all need to work together because these problems are massive like potentially i think and lots of other folks too we've never had problems this large facing our humanity so there's no way to engage with them we can as individuals but we all have to act together if we have any hope at um you know, a future for our species. And tell me more about the museum, uh, Enviro Museum idea. I haven't uh, encountered this before, so I'm well, the interested. Well, museums are about uh, engaging community. What are those simple, what are those issues that are affecting neighborhoods and, well, ecosystems and so forth. So there's actually um, Saskatchewan Eco Museum Network, and there's a bunch of Eco Museum people here uh, today. and. For us, it's um, it's all about engaging. I mean, engaging community, and this was one of the things that I was really fascinated with. And now I would like to continue working with them to see you know, how do we how do we fundraise? How how do we monetize this? How do we give them the resources that they need to become truly successful and engage a larger audience? Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, John.